Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 37. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, here we go. It is time for us to take part in the Honda NSX-R Challenge. We're currently streaming on Twitch with no face cam um, due to the fact that it is so hot. So uh, I currently am sat here butt-ass naked, but I've still got to make some content. We're starting off with Sunset Peninsula, moving on to Suzuka Circuit, Sakuba, and then finishing off with Laguna Seca. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Uh, we are in a bright green NSX. Lovely color. And it's absolutely roasting. Oh, I forgot in this game they actually fixed the AI from doing that. On this track in uh, Motorsport 1, I th if you uh, go back and watch the uh, original series. Whenever we were on Sunset Peninsula Infield, we always had to stay away from the AI. Because they would break to like... 40 miles an hour for that corner. Always. Not bad. Love ledge or Blair. I love that my screaming face is in the corner of the stream overlay. It's brilliant. If there's no webcam, there's got to be something to fill that space. Not bad. This is looking good so far. Not bad. Oh, we've taken too much curb there. Not ideal. There we go. So we are on lap number three. Uh, by the looks of it, this race might actually only take us about seven and a half, eight minutes. These are also uh, stock NSXs as well. There's no upgrades allowed at all during these events. Uh, and lucky for us... I am joking when I say lucky for us. Uh, the next race is going to be TVR Tuscans, which, as you know, is my least favourite car in the world. TVRs are just... Uh, Like, couldn't they have just picked, like, Aston Martin or something else? Why do they have to pick TVR? TVRs are some of the worst British cars that have ever existed. They're horrible and ugly and ugh.
There are two TVR cars that have ever existed that actually look semi-decent, and that's that 2018 one. Uh, and the one that's got really aggressive grills on the front. And on the wheel arches. Every other TVR that's ever existed. Ugh. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Got one more lap to go after this. And then we go, we got it. Cross the line. Oh, no, we got one more lap. Shit. I forgot we had another lap. Bollocks. <laughs> I got sidetracked. Oh, we got to fight for this position now. How did I bugger it up so much? I love how the engine is untouched. But there have been so many instances where I've crashed and the engine is just absolutely shattered. There we go. Oh, got away with it. Just about. Result, though. Eight minutes. Not looking too bad. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, all right. Suzuka circuit. Honestly, us Brits are slowly dying. It is hot. Hot is an understatement, to be honest. Not bad. Take the inside line.
Oh, that was a save and a half. I still can't believe F122 has been out for pretty much two weeks now. Not bad. A little bit of contact there. We'll see if we can get that position back on the next lap. A little bit of a slide. Drifting round the corner. It is actually pretty cool that the shadows and that all work really well in this game. Like the lighting system that they've used. Really does work in Forza Motorsport, even on Xbox 360. I know a lot of games on the Xbox 360 era didn't really have good lighting models. <coughs> Bethesda. It is kind of unbelievable though that Fallout 4 can be fixed, like the entire graphics, everything can be fixed and made to look so much better with just a lighting mod. It's unreal. Not bad. Heading up now towards uh, 130R now. And there's the uh, Casio chicane. I believe it's still Casio that sponsors that corner as well. And then this here is, I believe, the Dunlop curve. Not 100% sure, though.
There we go. We're definitely causing a bit of a traffic jam here. I will admit. But we're still in first, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Oh, not bad. Oh, we lost so much speed there. Come on. Unpopular opinion. I really don't like the front of this car. I don't think it looks that good. Oh, not bad. Just got to get the car home. Nearly didn't get the car home. It is definitely weird going from uh, Motorsport, uh, from Horizon 5 earlier on today, to uh, Motorsport 2. Definitely feels completely different trying to drive in this game compared to that. There we go, not bad. Saving game data. Collie up. Take it, 23 grand. All right, here we go. This is uh, next event. Sakuba Circuit and a can of cider because drinking alcohol while driving is a great idea kids it's not for legal reasons that was a joke There we go. 
bloody hell, we were on edge for that entire corner there. Coming up to the final hairpin. Bloody hell. <laughs> One too many times. Looking good. We got a lot of hairpins in this circuit. Uh, technically speak, three to be exact. The fourth one is really a hairpin because it doesn't go exactly back on itself. Little bit of uh, understeer going on on that corner there.
Uh, here we go. Coming up to finish lap number six. We've got three more left to go. Not bad. It's still 29 degrees outside and I am still roasted. Okay, what is up? Welcome. How are you doing? Bam, 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 bana, bana, bam, bam. Oh! Little bit of lag. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't think I could go out for a nice walk today. It's 29 degrees Celsius. I'm uh, currently in the process of overheating while sitting on my ass doing nothing. <laughs> Imagine if I was actually out there walking. I'd, I'd be dead. Is that a plane that you can hear? Why the fuck is there a plane flying so close to our house? Same old fucking story. Right, coming up to the final lap now. how and here we go cross the finishing line Whew. my back is like a water slide right now it's unreal it is that warm in here. I should probably put the backrest down so that I've got, like, nothing touching me back. But then that's not comfortable. I end up leaning forward. Right, here we go. Let's try this again. Because uh, apparently the corkscrew is a bitch. I'm not even joking, my brain is struggling to function through this heat. I think it's made worse by the fact, so we had a heat wave about two weeks ago, and we were looking at these temperatures for about three days straight. But the difference was, the day before we had the 30 degree heat wave, we were at 28 degrees. The day before that, we were at 25, and 22, and 20, and all that. So we had had about six days build up to the heat wave of the three days at like 30, 34. And then back down to 28. This now, yesterday was raining. It was wet. It was horrible. And it was... I think the temperature yesterday came to about... Um, no more than like 16 degrees Celsius. So, yesterday was about 16 degrees Celsius, and then all of a sudden, 30. 
Straight up. Damn hot. Especially with the fact that there's no adjustment. It's unreal. Of the world, living the dream. Wake me up, wake me up when it's over. Oh, a little bit in the uh, sand there. Joe, you know what makes this? recording session even worse is we're gonna have the bloody TVR to deal with and I hate the TVR with a passion Thump. Oh the world living the dream wake me up wake me up when it's over Thump. Oh the world So uh, officially I have a plan for the next probably about four or five years um, is we're going to be doing the Forza series. Hopefully we'll have that done this time. Not this time next year, this time the year after. And then from that point for another year we'll be doing WRC. And hopefully we can get through all 11 WRC games within a uh, short space of time which I believe we can do. WRC games aren't that big compared to Forza. Forza games, you can look at about 100 hours, 200 hours per game. Uh, all of the WRC games combined, I think it's like 300 hours. Each game would probably take about 20, 30, maybe 40 episodes at the most. So, WRC should be much shorter. I also at some point want to do a Gran Turismo one, but I know doing Gran Turismo 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6. Gran Turismo is just a much tougher game. And for me to 100% it would just drive me fucking nuts. And I mean, you think Mission 34 on, X on uh, PS2? It's unbearable. <laughs> oh no we're gonna be looking at 10 minutes for this race it's crazy these events are definitely getting much, much longer. Which is fair enough. Not bad. Coming up to the corkscrew for the fourth time. Wow. 
technically speaking, it's the ninth time, but we won't count the first attempt. Not bad. The Rahal Strait. Where's my microphone here? I've got no space to put my hand on my desk and actually, like, do anything with a keyboard. Right, let's see if we can uh, floor it for the rest of this. Not bad. See, when you knuckle down, you get the times. And your problem is, it's very hard to knuckle down when you've got 36 degrees of fucking fire-breathing wind breathing down your back. <laughs> Woo! It's hot. I think we are past 60%, by the way. 60% done with the game. Which is uh, awesome to see. I genuinely think this entire playthrough is going to be about 70 episodes. Somewhere around there. Everything but blood. Why the hell did it turn so much? I thought the controller disconnected. I would have absolutely bricked it. We just got it to below. Just below 10 minutes. I've just dropped the controller. Ow. Uh, fuck. Oh. I really hurt. I didn't want kids anyways. It's fine. Ooh. That, though... Beauty of a car. Look at that roof scoop. That is phenomenal on so many levels. I'm going to be driving that at some point. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.